Well, I've come out into the woods for the weekend to enjoy all the bugs. I just made it up into the Hammersley Wild area, starting from Cross Fork. Gonna go visit a cool vista and hopefully catch some trout down along Hammersley Fork. So, come on, let's get going. just uh, going along here trying to make some good time and I just can't help but thinking that so is mother nature everything just kind of seems like it's in full throttle things are blooming leaves are coming out of the trees buds are breaking I hear lots of familiar bird sounds it's really nice to be out here during this time of spring things are really starting to be alive We made it to the end of the Susquehannock Trail system for now. We're gonna continue along the Twin Sisters. I've never gone down this portion of the Twin Sisters before. Well, sorry, you're a little close. So yeah, I'm gonna tell you a little secret. Just kidding. Um, yeah, I've never been down this side of the, the, uh, the Twin Sisters Trail before. Uh, I've always gone down into, never been down this side and be nice to do something that's new for me yeah most of where I'm going this weekend I've never been so but have been trying to I was gonna do a multi-night loop here a couple years ago ended up having car troubles and I didn't didn't come up and ever since then it's been like in the back of my mind so now I'm finally getting to do it yeah buddy Hey, check out this poop. It's pretty good size. Seems kind of fresh. That's bear poop. For show. So that's cool. They out here. Where they be? They out here. Wow, this just got cool. Literally, it's nice and cool in here. Ooh. Some big trees along here. A lot of pine cones, geez, holy crap. Oh, that's nice. I hear a wood thrush. First one of the year. It's one of my favorite bird calls, wood thrush. So nice. And that sound of wind going through pine trees. That's awesome. I don't know, I'm trying to do the, the A-OK -okay sign. It's like this. Yeah. Soon we will cross a little creek and I will see if it was the right idea to bring up all the water. Because I don't know, you know, see if it's any water in that little creek. So. Well, when you look at that, I guess the joke is on me. Could have gotten some water here. Not had to bring it all up. But that's okay. That's fine. Where's the trail? There's a little site here by the creek. It's very dismantled. I don't, oh, there's a blaze right there. Duh. So we go this way. Hmm. 
Well, it would have been a pain to filter water here because there's so many bugs. The blazes are getting a little faded. The trail is at times now a little hard to follow. I've gotten turned around a few times. Oh, that's a burl. Damn, girl. Beauty. Oh, beautiful forest to walk through, though. Little rock gardens. And, um, yeah, it's really nice. Thank God for this breeze. Otherwise, it would be pretty hot and warm. The black flies have come on pretty strong. And they are swarming me. For the most part, every time I stop, it makes it hard to take a break. Which makes me feel like I'm just going to be going until I get to my campsite, which I try not to do, but it's hard, but it's so buggy, it's hard to stop. They just, they're like going in your mouth and your nose and your eyes. And of course my head is, is sweaty and throbbing and hot, so it's good for them. Good place to be. Oh. I'm excited for my new camp shoes I got, and that is that's what I'm thinking about. Being able to take off my boots. <sighs> wow, this maple has like one, two, three, like six trunks. It's a super maple. Bugs are getting worse. The bugs got a lot worse, and the trail got kind of tedious, so. I'm like just about at where I want to camp. We're coming up on the site of a forest fire, which is what created this big clearing we're gonna see in a little bit. Oh look, there's a sign. Forest fire. Wow. Oh gosh, I have to walk a little bit farther for a view. It's good enough for me. Maybe a campsite up here. Wow, that's pretty nice. Cool. All right, well, get back down to the main trail. There she is, the view. This is all the burn section. It's very grassy, very grassy. See it extends up over there. Bugs are still pretty bad as you can maybe see. Sun's coming out, we're getting some dark clouds coming through. We're supposed to have a chance at thunderstorm, so. But you know what? Uh, I am excited about one thing. And those, well, actually, several things. My cheese doodles. Oh. Oh, my cheese doodles. Try something on my face. When it is gonna rain, or it's threatening to rain, when the bugs go crazy, they're they're like swarming. It's mostly because it's it's dusk. It's almost dusk, and uh, they're active. But uh, yeah. I can't tell. It looks like they're coming up on the camera, yeah. They're a lot, and they bite. 
So hopefully it does rain because that would just kind of make them go away for a little bit. Wouldn't have to constantly be doing this. Trying to eat my hummus doing this. So I am sharing this campsite with some other people. They've been in the tent the whole time. Their bear bags already hung, so I think they're probably just because of all the bugs and then it's gonna rain. They're just like in for the night, so that's fine. Unfortunately, I have to set up like, I'm set up like right in front of them. They're over there, so. But that's how it is. You share the outdoors with everyone else. Oh, I hear more people coming. So who knows where they're gonna go? Hi. I'm chilling in here. Oh, it feels so good to sit down. These are from Sweden. They're pretty different than American cheese cheese curls. These taste more like mac and cheese tastes rather than like cheese curls. Well, it keeps threatening to rain and it hasn't yet, so a lot of thunder, but I just want all these bugs to go to bed. I can chill in the hammock with it closed. But I'm just kind of hot. I'm hot right now, so. Just. Mm. Those people are back there. I can just barely see them. The people I heard on the trail were them. The people who are already here. So they must have done like a loop today or something. They came from that way, so. Wonder what they did. All right. Um, if it starts to rain, I'll bring it back up. It has begun. This is going to be a cool storm to ride out. Oh my god, there's a rainbow over there. There's a rainbow over there, it's gigantic. It's, it's right there, oh my god, that's crazy. Giant rainbow behind that tree. Really, really thick. Right there. Really thick. It's like climbing as the storm kind of passes. There it is, it's so cool. It's like growing in front of my eyes. Here comes the rain. Cool. <laughs> so cool.
dinner is served. It's getting dark, but I just had to... Look at that. It's delicious. Ramen rescue. Take your ramen, put in some dehydrated vegetables, two eggs, and... Oh, man, it's so good. Just enjoying this view. A little tower right there. And other than that, and the planes going over it. It's the only sign of civilization out here. Good morning. Uh, it's starting to drizzle a little bit. Um, I've been packing up, but I'm going to head back underneath the uh, tarp. I'll sit in the hammock. Can you tell it's humid? I'm volumized, for sure. Bugs have already come out. They're not that bad, but they're out, so... Ain't no rest for the wicked. All right, well, I actually have some cell service up here, and I've been checking the weather. I checked it last night to see the storms that were coming through. So, I'm going to check it again to see what today looks like and tomorrow, because I probably won't have service in the, uh, down there. And I'm going to get some breakfast, some coffee, and get going. I just missed a hummingbird. <sighs> it's here. It's been visiting my tarp like all morning. I kept, I heard it. That's the first time I saw it. It just fluttered right, right here in front of me. It's a ruby-throated. It's beautiful. I wonder what it's looking for. Maybe moisture. I just wiped off my tarp with a towel to pack it up. I wonder if he was drinking moisture off the off the tarp. Maybe. Oh, I want him to come around again. I was about to leave. Just gotta put everything in there. Then I'm headed down that ridge. Down there. Bugs picked up. They're everywhere. Packed up on the trail. It was an awesome campsite. The sunset was great. Got to sleep next to a gigantic old cherry tree. This is, this is a really neat spot. I saw that hummingbird this morning. I heard owls last night. I heard that uh, woodcock last night. Wouldn't be surprised if I spooked one today. I slept all right. Not too good, kind of sleepless. My pitch was um, in the hammock wasn't the best, so it was a little, my feet were a little bit too raised and so was my head. So I think I needed a little bit more of a flatter lay and I was going as diagonal as I could, so it just was, this keeps happening, I keep losing things on these briars. Um, but yeah, so live and learn, but yeah, whoa. Is that a catbird? Maybe. Oh, I saw a tohi this morning. First tohi of the year. Yeah, I think that's a catbird. All right, well, this morning I begin the bushwhack. And I'm gonna record this track so it'll be available on Cal Topo. Where's some charred wood? Presumably from that forest fire. Could have been from something later, but I don't. Wouldn't think so, so kind cool.
This has been really cool walking down along uh, the big clearing here. It's I'm running into all these plants and type of habitats that you only see on like the side of fields and stuff. Um, on like level grand, ground, you know? And this is all just so steep and dramatic. It's cool. Oh, I saw bats last night too. I forgot to mention that. I saw bats last night. That was really awesome. Hey, this is a nice vista. Wow. Drops off really steeply here. It's like really steep down there. Found some columbine. Just growing here in the on this bald portion, these red things here, it's all columbine. So that makes sense why those uh why the hummingbird was around, because there's food for them. I mean, there's food for them, there's food for them, you know, everywhere, but that's cool. Okay, well, now I have to find a trail through this. I think it's down here. That's a sound I haven't heard in a little bit. Running water. I made it to the creek. Well, just about, at least. Oh, wow, flat ground. Creek level, cool. Hello, Hammersley Fork. Snake, the first snake of the trip and it's not a rattlesnake. Spooked me a little bit. Just a little garter snake. He's like about a foot and a half long. Hey, buddy. Is that a piece of... Oh, now that's cool. That is really cool. This is really cool. I just realized this, what's causing this little uh, dam, this little pool here. Get what this is called when you put one of these in the creek. That is actually an old railroad um, rail. I don't know if that was placed in here for fish habitat by, you know, people or if they brought it, but honestly, it's probably more likely it just washed downstream from one of the, when they were logging. That's so cool. Now it's providing a habitat. I mean, that metal will just go back into the environment in a natural way. Um, it's not going to cause any really real disturbance to the water. To the other side of the creek. Where there's a quaint little campsite that's kind of trashed. There's litter everywhere. I'm going to do a little pick up there. But take a look at this. Yeah, see, you can see it's a railroad rail. And it's actually got a serious bend on it down there in the water. The force that must have taken to do that. That's kind of crazy. Uh, but yeah. I mean, all this was logged at one point. So, there were railroads that bring it all out. Cool, right, I'm gonna go do some cleaning up at this campsite and find the main trail and carry on. Look at this luxury. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. Hello.
It just took like two minutes to build this little thing. Put some pins in the ground. Because I'm starting to get really washed out, like down there. Anyway. Oh yeah, I wanted to get a photo. Boink. Boink. <laughs> I love doing stuff like that. It's non-destructive. It's not like I'm cutting away at the trail or anything. I'm not an official volunteer, so I don't want to do anything out of my barn house, wheelhouse. Keep to my own wheels. But that's fun to do. Do a little bit of maintenance, do a little preventative. That'll stay there for a little bit. Catch some leaves and at least give some people like an understanding that that's a tricky spot. Be careful. So, yeah. Cloud. A little dark. And the breeze has been pleasant, but now it's kind of picking up. So hopefully I can get to camp before it starts to rain. At least set up a tarp. That's easy. There's plenty of water here. So these are actually uh, bridge abutments here. The stone, that stacked stone. There's, a, there's uh, at least one other one I know in the wild area, a little old bridge like this. And uh, that's where it, that um, railroad tie would have come from. I mean, not tie, rail, the railroad rail. That would have come from here, this bridge, the railroad. Let me start over. So the railroad rail we saw earlier, you know, this is the railroad it would have come from. We've got a giant toad right there. He's enormous. I'll try to get closer. Bud? See ya. Sorry for harassing you. This is called Darling Run. It's quite darling. I like it. Wide, rocky. You know, funny enough, this rock here is not a bridge abutment. I mean, it probably was used as part of one, but it's bedrock. It wasn't placed. You know, it looks like a uh, man made or something. Oh, where am I going? I gotta figure that out. I'm in the middle of the creek. Got a turtle. I think it's a wood turtle. Yeah, I see the protrusions. Well, he's keeping himself, uh, keeping himself able there. I might actually try to strike, you never know. So beautiful. Beautiful scales. Whatever they are. Being my turtle bro. How are you today? <laughs> I picked him up. He's kind of friendly. Just wanted to check out the bottom of the shell. There's a pack of feet. Oh, and I can actually 
I'll take that and then we'll figure out later at home if it's male or female. <sighs> flies. Sorry, I'm dealing with flies. Alright, buddy. I'm sorry. You're just so cool. Okay. I'm going to put you right back where you were. Alright, see you later. Maybe. Oh my god, another snake. Oh, tiny one. You probably scared the hell out of each other, eh, buddy? Just another little garter. Oh man, up. It's getting hot. So this is dry hollow, and um, it's obviously not very dry right now. Um, if you're doing the loop that's described on midatlantichikes.com, that is the bushwhack you do. You come down or go up it, I forget. So I think there's some nice waterworks up there. It does look really nice. There's a lot of cascades. If I wasn't doing like a fishing thing, I might do a little side trip up there, but it's always next time. Oh, I'm done with that side. It's nice and flat, railroad grade. And we're gonna come around the corner and see Hammersley Pool soon, which means I should be close to some good camping options. So this is kind of cool. I noticed there's a old fire pit in there. Nicely constructed, obviously not used a lot. It's in a bowl, so it's probably pretty buggy. I don't know. Maybe they made it for a windbreak or just so it wouldn't be, be more contained. I don't know, anyway. But then I noticed that uh, there's another grade there that will go across that creek a little lower where we, than where we crossed. So this trail we're on now is a grade, and there's a grade there, and they would have come to a switch or a joining point, you know, up right up here. It's a little hard to see, but there's a mound there. And, uh, yeah, they would have come together right here. I am happy. Because I took my boots off. And I get to do this. Oh. Oh. oh, that's cold. Oh, look at the way the rocks are stray shaded, stray shaded, I think the word is. Oh man, this feels good. Oh man. That is so cool over there, the way the water's coming in. Check that out. Oh, this feels good. Beautiful. Beautiful. So this is definitely one of the most used sites in the entire wild area. This and the one that's over there is more grassy. So I feel super lucky if I am able to stay here by myself. Um, but, and it's not even that compacted, you know, it doesn't, there's not a lot of trash and garbage. There's that tarp, which is here, probably people to use, you know, it wasn't left here as trash. 
Um, there's this big old stake, which again, somebody can use. Um, and there's actually, I noticed there's a stick stove. It looks homemade, but I've seen ones that are like this for sale. This is obviously not very compact and it's kind of heavy. I'll probably give that a whirl. That looks fun. It's made for big pots too. Look at that. You know, grapes and grills and stuff. I think I might hang up my hammock between those two trees. I'm going to figure it all out. Get situated. Eat something. Drink water. I got to filter water. I got tons of stuff to do. Ah. Uh, there was a scarlet tanager there. I got him just as he flew away and zoomed in. That was cool. Scarlet tanagers are just so red. You think you've seen red when you see a cardinal and they are just, well, they're scarlet, I guess. Man, this is such a nice spot. These, this rock. Almost like a rock wall. These pools. I haven't got anything yet, but I'm having a good time fishing for it. So, and I think it's, it's pretty much midday. It's like three o'clock, so. I think I'm gonna give it a rest, actually, and let it cool down. Let the sun move out of the very high sky. And, um, you know, if it rains, if it cool, if the sun goes away, I'll come back and do some more fishing. And if people are staying at this site, I'll just say, hey, you mind if I fish? You mind if I fish for a little fish? Black wings and red bottom. Right in the middle of the frame. Check out these rocks. They're just falling apart. It's crazy. Here's here's one that already fell apart. It's just like completely done with being a rock. At least a single rock. Some sort of mudstone, I think. That's what camp looks like so far. I just set that up by the fire ring for now in case a storm comes. Just gonna set up the hammock over there somewhere a little later. Been trying to get a fish, but no luck so far. I had one follow. I saw one fish come up to my lure over there. And I've been down at the pool. I haven't seen any other fish other than that one fish. And he was a decent size, but kind of small, so. 
still really nice enjoying enjoying enjoy a ball evening those are words all right I put that in my little foil pouch here. And wait, I'm just tuck it back here real nice. Oh man, I can't wait to eat that. This toad came to say hello. I heard all this rustling and I pointed my flashlight over a couple times. I thought it'd be a mouse. And then this guy hopped out of the pile of leaves and then just kept on hopping over. Hey bud. How you doing? All right, see ya. So I had a visitor last night. When I woke up this morning, my poles are on the ground. And they've been nibbled at a little bit. See the cork is totally gone, that little spot right there, and the rest. The dark portions are from just sweat. And that's what they were chewing at. They knocked down both of them just to get a little bit of a taste. I guess I need new poles anyway, the cork is kind of coming apart. Good morning. Go. Just wrote in the uh, log book here and found the uh, entry from when I was here last time, which is always fun. I really like this one. It's got a writing surface and everything. And we continue on. That's me. This is one of those bridge abutments I was talking about before. It's probably the most good looking one in the wild area. 
would have connected to this one, which everyone walks up, so it's kind of deteriorated. This one was spared. Pretty neat. Oh, there's a super bloom here. It's all a bunch of foam flower blooming. Cool. So much of it everywhere. top of Elkhorn Hollow. Woo. I am a little bit sweatier than before, but I'm making good time, so it's good. Got up here in like about a half an hour. A little more than half an hour, so it's a good time. I made it. There's that sign we passed. Two days ago. <sighs> I just passed a fisherman. Told him how I didn't catch any fish, which is always fun to do. And uh, he, it's the next guy. Um, he asked if I'd seen anybody else. I said no. I did see those two other campers, but I was talking about fishing, and it was like, isn't it surprising? Which. It is, I mean, you'd think there'd be more people, maybe, but not a lot of people would want to walk up this hill just to go fish. I'm gonna eat some snacks on the, on the go here, and... Hello, little toad. Oop. See ya. Hello, slightly larger toad. See ya. Oh, still almost done. <laughs>